determine equivalent distance between A and B. So how can we determine? First of all, check which one is series and parallel. If you see this one and this one are series, final combination that is we got 6 ohm. Okay. Now another way, if you look this one and this one, both are parallel. Okay. Both that point and that point are same potential. Okay. Or another way, you you can see you can redraw the circuit. Okay. If you, any if you feel confusion, then <coughs> redraw the circuit. That point, that point A, A, A. Okay. And that is that point B, and that is point B. Okay. Suppose that that point C. Clear. If you redraw the circuit, that is A. Suppose that is A and here B and here C that one C clear okay now A and B that is 12 ohm clear that is 12 so that is 12 now another way A and B that is 6 clear now another way no look like anyone A and B again A and C this one this one has completed A and C that is 3 B and C 2 ohm okay c and b that is 3 ohm b and c that is 3 ohm okay now next one 2 and 4 are parallel sorry series combination of these two that is 6 okay connected between b and c that is 6 ohm okay that is 6 ohm that point C clear so final circuit make like this one okay so first of all C question and after that read of the circuit if you read of the circuit look like this one 3 2 6 are parallel and these two are parallel okay so first of all 6 and 3 6 3 divided by 6 and 3 6 plus 3 that is 9 that is 2 2 and 2 are parallel okay if you redraw the circuit that is 3 that is 2 ohm a combination of these two that is 2 ohm okay 6 and 12 are parallel 4 so that is 4 A and that is B these two that is 3 ohm and that is 2 ohm combination of these two that is 2 ohm sorry 2 ohm. both are parallel that's why 1 ohm okay and here that is 4 that is A and that is B. The combination of these two R of AB that is 4 ohm and that is 4 ohm that is A and that is B. So finally R of AB is equal to 2 ohm. Okay. Read of circuit after that this one after that this one and after that this one and after that this is the final answer clear so first of all read all the circuit better to better option is read all the circuit okay that point that point same potential so that is a that point and that point has same potential that is point b our motor many equivalent resistance between a and b and that one we have considered c point so that is c okay after that after that we have Reader, 
ए बी ए बी दैट इज ट्वेल्व एंड सिक्स वन आफ्टर दैट ए सी थ्री ए सी थ्री बी सी टू एंड दैट इज थ्री एंड दैट इज सिक्स टू थ्री एंड सिक्स आर पैल सो कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दीज थ्री वी गॉट That is fine. This two ohm, three combination of three and six. That is two ohm. So both are parallel. So that is one ohm. Three and one that is in series. That is why four ohm. And this one is combination of these two. That is we got four ohm. So four ohm and four ohm parallel. So final combination is two ohm is the right answer. Make it. Now our motor determine equivalent resistance between A and B. So how can we determine? First of all, check this, see the circuit. Okay, the circuit are given. So first of all, make make R equal to the redraw the circuit. If you redraw the circuit, that point, that point, same potential that is A, and that point, that point, same potential that is B, and that point C. This one, this one are parallel. So six and twelve are like this one. AC is three ohm. And two, three, and that is six are parallel. Clear? Now, combination of these three are parallel. So combination of these two, we got two ohm and two ohm. And twelve and six combination of these two, we got four ohm. Okay, both are parallel. After that, these two, that is one ohm. Okay, three ohm and one ohm are series, and that is four ohm in parallel. So four ohm and four ohm parallel. So combination of these two, we got two ohm is the right answer. Make it.